Welcome to Heftor Edition. So I've been requested quite a few times by a few different people that uh, want me to do a tutorial on making a Python application. So let's get started on that shall we. So all I've done is created a, uh, a main.py file, Python file, and I've added the interpreter at the top. So when you make the uh, Python file executable your operating system will know what interpreter to use to run the program. So we're using Python 3. So first first what we gotta do is import GI and then we're gonna say from GI dot repository we want to import GTK. So that's done now we just do a class and we're just going to call it main window and the main window is going to be using GTK window. So that way all we have to do is call self and that's it. So <coughs> first things first is the uh, initialization function. So that'll be def underscore underscore in it there we go that's going to bring in self and then we're just going to say super main window there it is self dot underscore underscore in it and there we go so now we uh, bring in the main class and we'll just say window equals main window. And then we're just going to say window dot connect, and uh, that will be delete event, I think. And that'll be gtk dot main quit. Then we want to say window dot show all and gdk main. All right, so this should give us a window. So Python three main dot py. There we go. So now we've got a window, but it's empty. So let's add some things to it. So I'm going to say self dot set underscore border width and the border width is going to be 10 and we're going to say self dot uh, set underscore position and that will be gtk dot position type dot center Oh, there's a window position, I think it is. I'm trying to do it all off by head. Yeah, there it is, window position. Alright, so now what we've got to do, that should start the window in the center. Beautiful, there we go. Even though it did before, but it's better to specify it depending on the person's operating system. Or the flavor of Linux anyway. So now what we're going to do is add a vertical box and I'm going to add that vertical box to the main container of the window, to the Windows container. So every item that we add inside that vertical box will inside the box will be stacked vertically. So we'll just call that V box for vertical box and that will equal GTK dot box. Now inside box we've got to specify the um, orientation by default it's horizontal so orientation is equal to gtk dot orientation dot and this will be vertical and we want to have a spacing of 10 pixels between each item that's stacked on it so then we go self add self v box 
So now we've got a vertical box. Alright, so let's just add some little uh, thingy bobs here just to tell us what the whatamacallits are. Here we go. So this is our main container. And this one's going to be section one. All right. So now, what we want to do is say self dot horizontal box one, and then we'll just label them after that, which is GDK dot box. And now we want to add a label. Uh -huh. And we want to x align equals zero. So we want the text to be all the way to the one end of it, to the start. And then we're just going to say self dot button equals gdk dot button, and the label will equal click me. And then we'll just say h box self dot h box. Start self dot label and that will be true to expand and true to fill with zero padding. And now we'll just say button and they will be false. And then we've got to add the horizontal box to the actual vertical box for it to be shown on the main window. And that'll be HBox. Now, I'll set these to true and show you what happens. Here we go. Main window has no object HBox because we called that HBox1. There we go. Click me. And oh dear, oh me. You know what I forgot. Self dot label. Now with label, there's two methods you can use. You can just do set text or set markup. Now set markup will allow you to use the HTML uh, markup style tags, so like they look like HTML. I'll, I'll do markup first. Well, first I'll do set text, and set text will be click the button, just like that. And now when we run it, you should see the label now. There it is. Click the button. Click me. Right now, markup. Now I'll show you set set markup. Now what we can do we can say uh, bold and italic. So click the button is bold and italic. Now as you can see here I've got true and true for expand and for um, fill for the horizontal box. So now if we resize, see how the button stretches and all that with it? Alright, so what we'll do, 
set them to false and the horizontal box shouldn't fill with the actual application there you go see that's a lot better that's nicer so this is how you do it oh what I'll do is I'll show you uh, with the button so now for a click event on a button say button connect and the signal will be clicked so when the buttons clicked we'll call uh, on click event and then we've got to make a function for that and we want it to be self and widget these key key pushing type error on click events on click events oh silly me incorrect uh, there we go so when we click it you can see down here in the console button has been clicked and there you have it so that's how you make the basics of a GTK application. Now, I, the way I do it's a little bit more complicated. I use um, uh, what's it called uh, list boxes, and I I stack everything inside a list box and all the rest of it, and just have the list box um, non non selectable. So, well, that's that's pretty much how I do it. So hopefully you learned something, and um, yeah, thanks for watching.